This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Okay, good evening Philippines, mga gabi sa Tibok Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. We're going to cut short our, uh, our introductions. Uh, we're very much uh, in a hurry to be able to talk to this individual who is with us now. His name is Dr. Dante Liban, former congressman, and he is also the president of the People's Initiative for National Movement for Federalism. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Eric, and yes. to all our televiewers. Yes. Uh, Where are we as far as uh, the initiative for federalism, especially in Congress, where you were there once? Well, uh, first of all, let, let us inform the people that uh, PENAPED is a private sector initiative. Yes. It is non-political. Yes. Non-governmental. Yes. So we are at full liberty to come out with our ideas, yes. suggestions, proposals, and consult the people. Yes. So right now, uh, the movement for federalism uh, uh, somehow uh, has uh, experienced uh, a, a full stop in a way. <laughs> it's, it's not a bump on the road, it's a full stop. Yes, because see, now that the Senate has officially publicly stated they will not join okay. the, the, the House of Representatives. The, the, the Constituent Assembly. That, that's a full stop. Okay. It takes two to dance the tango, di ba? Okay, okay. Uh, Kung ayon ng isa, eh, walang mangyayari. Uh, so, parang back to square one. Nakikita okay. ko, yes. So, uh, uh, hindi ba pwedeng, the, the, the Congress will have its own version, the Senate will have its own version, and then they have a, uh, a, a conference committee? Uh, I don't think that is the feeling and thinking of the Senate. Okay. Yes. What, is the, what is your <laughs> suspicion or what is your reading of the thinking of the Senate? This is my personal uh, uh, reading mm -hmm. that uh, uh, the Senate, uh, number one, is mm -hmm. there to uphold its uh, institutional integrity. Okay. It will never allow itself to be swallowed by the lower house. Okay. Remember, they are the upper house. Uh, yes, uh, yes, the upper house, yes. So. They may be big, smaller in number, but they believe they are more, uh, they are more, greater value, uh -huh. uh, greater efficiency, uh -huh. uh, greater uh, focus. Uh -huh. And uh, that if I may add, they, they believe that they can serve the country and their people better. Okay. Okay. So with that, uh, the, you know, the, they have to re backtrack a bit. Okay. And, and rethink what kind of approach and process to be adopted. Okay. Let's recall, uh, Eric, that any charter change uh -huh. through a con us yes. has failed miserably several times. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. So the people's uh, sentiment is very, very clear. It has to be a process which the people trust. Which is a con constituent? Which, which is the constitutional convention. convention. Okay. okay. And I maintain, personally, that for this thing to uh, to be realized, mm -hmm. the shift from unitary, to highly centralized to federal, federalism, federalism yes. there must be a trusted leader. Okay. There must be a trusted process. Okay. And if you have both, you have the people will trust the result. Okay. So let let me go back to number one, uh -huh. trusted leader. And gentlemen, 
for the first time we have a president which has the highest rating, yes. acceptability and trust rating. Yes. He was elected against many odds yes. during the last election. Yes. He won not because of any political party. Yes. He won on the shoulders of our people. Yes. Second, uh, he is the only candidate in the last election who openly, boldly proposed a shift. Yes. For federalism. Yes. The other presidential candidates, uh, Tagalog Tameme. That was his part of his campaign promise, federalism. Yes. yes. And uh, the people voted him overwhelmingly. Mm -hmm. And to me, following the dictum of the Latin dictum of Vox Populi, Populi Vox, Vox Dei, Dei. Uh, he is being elected as the 16th president of our republic. It's not just man-made. Uh -huh. I believe that God is part of it. There was a Kinaloobas siya ng Panginoon. There was a design from heaven. Yes, yes okay. God's design. Oh. Kaya limited budget. Uh -huh. uh, Minamaliit siya, nilalait uh -huh. siya. Uh -huh. <laughs> Totoo lang naman yan. No? He won against all odds. Yes, and, uh, and without any political party. Yes. That's the first time it And he was happened. a reluctant candidate. Yes, right. Uh -huh. so, but uh, you know, God has a special design for him. Uh -huh. And for our people. Yes. God is using Mayor Duterte, now President Duterte, to be the instrument of real change. Yes. And to us, the real change is the change in the system, yes. the change in the structure. Yes. Remember, Erica, for the past 80 years, yes. under a unitary system, yes. Yes. anong improvement, anong pagbabago para sa kabutihan ng nakararami? Okay. Huh? The poor uh -huh. is still a vast army of poor yeah. people. The issue of uh, corruption, yes. Diba, no? yes. The issue of political dynasty yes. and uh, illiteracy and poor health services. And Okay. So, so you, we have a trusted leader now. Yes, yes. The problem is you're saying it's the process now. Yes. Uh, I remember during the campaign, Eric, yes, huh? yes, yes. I was with him. Yes. In, in many campaign sorties. In fact, he was the one who said we will have a constitutional convention. Exactly. I'm going, I was oh. about to say that. You were a senatorial candidate with uh, President Duterte. Yes. yes. And he made that public commitment. Yes. Okay. Kaya if I, if I know him, and I still believe in him, yes. he will live up to his commitment. Ang kutub po dyan eh, baka pinapakaramdaman niya lang yung mga politiko eh. Okay. Kung sino talagang dalisay at hindi... Totoo, ika nga. Uh, so let, let them come out, their true colors. Now that he knows, he will do what he has publicly committed. Because following your, your, your thesis, uh, uh, Congressman, no? you said he has a mandate because he said federalism. And during the campaign, he said it would be a constitutional convention. Ah, very so he has to follow through into that because that is the de design. Yes. That is the heavenly design as you right. say, diba? You and, cannot and change that. In the human level, oh. Mayor Digong is a man of, uh, uh, he keeps his word. Yes. Kilala uh, kilala siya. Pag siya nagsalita, gagawin niya. So bakit, why, why all of a sudden he's saying, exploring the idea of a constituent assembly because uh, of uh, Speaker Alvarez and all the rest? What is it? I, I, I will not go to that. Ano, uh, Kasi mahal <laughs> daw. It, it, it will be too expensive ang daw. Ang issue raw, uh, uh, matagal, mabagal, expensive, magastos. 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 But, you know, uh, sabi nga ni Chief Justice Puno during the hearing yes, yes, yes. Senado, no? yes. that is a cheap argument. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Na? Remember, in revising the Constitution, uh, it is the best gift you can, one can give to his people. Legacy. This is best legacy. Oh. The campaign against illegal drugs, that's good. Yes. The campaign against corruption, that's yes. good. Oh. Against criminality. Yes. But the, the greatest pearl oh. is shifting it oh. from unitary, highly centralized to federal federalism yes. system of government. Yes. Oh. That would be his best legacy. So now it's the process that's the problem. Yes. And uh, now the, uh, we in Phnom Penh. Yes. We will try to mobilize uh, as many people as possible uh -huh. using the same uh, instrument that led him to his election. What's that? The uh -huh. social media. Okay. Yes. So we. I are think it's a popular, it's a popular uh, sentiment. No, that I, I'm sure you sense it that people prefer a constitutional convention. Uh, no? no doubt. Eh. No doubt. No. No doubt. Uh -oh. uh, and then that is the very thing. Again, I'm repeating myself of what he promised. Yes. Diba? So, oh, parang nangyayari ito, Eric. Uh, as 
people who believe in him, who have faith in him. Uh, kasi marami mga tukso, eh. left yes, and yes, right, yes, up yes. and down. In, in, uh, inaayos lang natin, sinusuporta natin siya na, uh-huh. and reminding him. Are there mischievous mindsets around him? <laughs> I'm just saying mischievous, I'm not saying naughty, just mischievous. Huh? Open your eyes, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then my next question is why? Or, are they sincere, or do they really sincerely believe that a constituent assembly is the way to go? Or is it because they want to postpone elections? They want to... What, what, what are they? Alam mo, sa totoo lang, oh. it's uh, most unfair to the president. Eh, when oh. people are talking about no L, oh. term extension. And it is not him saying uh, it, ha? Huh? Uh, abolition of term limit. It's other people. Other people, oh. So, allied to him. Parang, he's, they're putting him in the corner. Yes. Which is most unfair. Yes. And yet, they say they support the president. And in fact, the president just said uh, it should not be you know, against the people. Uh, something like that. Uh, this, this, this plan for federalism also. Yes. So, I don't know whether he's saying it should really be a constitutional convention. Sa akin, eh, he has no other choice mm. but to use that mode of revising the constitution through a constitutional convention. Mm-hmm. Uh, under his leadership, it can be fast track. Eh? Mm-hmm. Under his leadership, he can appeal to the, without pressuring the yeah. CONCON delegates, uh-huh. that these are his ideas. Uh-huh. And they will give you importance. Then we, I'll give you one year to finish your, your, your job. It could, it could even be shortened. Yes. Uh-huh. He has just to appeal to them, talk to them. Uh-huh. Because after all, these people put him into the presidency. But is the Congress, the lower house, resistant to a constitutional convention. Oh, very clear naman eh, Eric. <laughs> yung galing sa inyo. Very resistant. Oh, very clear. Sabi nga ni Senator Ping Lacson, mga, mga makakapanamuka, okay. walang delikadesa. Uh-huh. Why are they against a constitutional convention? Because they cannot put their own kulatilya in the, in the yeah, charter? Their, their, what is it? Their, their personal agenda will be gone. Their, their, their survival may even be put in danger. Jeopardy, yes. Jeopardy. Yes. So uh, it is self-preservation and self-perpetuation if it is con us. Okay. But, and, but do you think the con us will really push through? I doubt. It will not? Uh, personally, I... Because I, of the Senate, is that what you're saying? Not only the Senate, but because of the people. There will be resistance in short. Oh, yes, definitely. And uh, on our part, we have to mobilize the people. Uh-huh. Uh, through the social media, as yes. I said, and through the mainstream media. Uh-huh. Uh, Penofed is going around the country uh, just to... Um, You've been hearing the proposals being made <coughs> by certain personalities that may be, br- be a proposal in the Constituent Assembly. Such as? Uh, do you like any of them? <laughs> no, that's why, I mean, sure you're listening to some of them. Uh, which ones do you like? Which ones don't you like? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Of course, when we say federal, oh. uh, there are two layers of governance. Yes. No? The national level, yes. federal, okay. and the sub-national. Yes. You can call it regional government, oh. state government, oh. or whatever. No? Oh. So there are two levels. All their powers are enshrined in the Constitution. Yes. Unlike in the present system, oh. uh, hardly there is. Yes. And there's the local government code. Yes. But it's more violated than complied observed. with. Yes, observed. yes, yes. So that is the objective of our president in shifting okay. uh, to empower the yes. regional local authorities okay. Okay, for unity okay. to keep our brothers uh, who are thinking of separating yes. to be part of the, the federal big family. Th- yes. Okay. So what don't you like? What, what don't you like in the disquisition or the, the public pronouncements being made now? Well, uh, <laughs> aside from the constituent assembly, what? what well, in, in, the, you know, in, the, in the form of uh, government, no? mm. uh, I'm for a unicameral. Okay. One, one body. Yes, one legislature. Not bicameral. Yes. We have the House and the Senate. Uh, yes. And the third chamber, which is the yes. bicameral conference committee. committee. yes. I've been in Congress. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. That's the third uh, Eric, Congress, no? actually. That's the third but Congress. But if you have a National Assembly, unicameral legislative body, Okay. Uh, it will be a uh, 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 fast track, there will uh, be no conflict, there will be stalemate, no? 
Okay. Uh, madaling gawin batas. Some people listening to you will say, especially some senators will say, if you make it unicameral, with more reason, we will delay the process. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Precisely. Na. If it's a con con, oh. Oh. Uh, it's a constitutional convention, it is the delegates who will decide on this. Okay. No longer the senators, no okay. longer the, uh, with your respect, the congressmen, yes. to my co colleagues in oh, Congress. Oh, yes. no? the, I think this is uh, a golden opportunity, Eric, to offer all our talent and resources and services for people. It's about time. Okay, so that's why you want a unicameral. What else don't you like that you're hearing? How about uh, the removal of term limits? Ah, no, I'm totally against you're that. You're also against that. There okay. must be a limit. Term limits. Yes, okay. yes. So, the three-year, uh, three-term limit, no? uh, I find that acceptable. Hindi ba pwede, Congressman, yung four years para Three terms, 12 years. Katulad din ng senador, 12 years din yung senador. So yung congressman, 12 years yeah, din. So, pwede yan. Pwede yung four years, di ba? We're open to that. O, kasi three terms eh. Para naman meron silang... <laughs> but there must be the... There must be term limits. Self-enabling uh, self provision on an, against political dynasty or family. And then that's another one, political there dynasty. There must be, ano, uh, oh. in the constitution. Self-executing. Self-fulfilling. Uh, uh, provision on political dynasty. Kailangan nandun yun. So those are the things you're, you don't like hearing now? Yes, right. Oh. And the way things are going, do you think this will be incorporated? Uh, the, uh, there should be term limits, that uh, political dynasties are out? If it is a con-con, walang duda. If it's a constituent assembly? Ah, malabong malabo. Okay. I'm sorry to say that. No? Uh, malabo. Are you saying, of course, there are some people in the cabinet who said, it doesn't matter whether it's constitutional convention or constituent assembly. Anyway, at the end of the day, the people will be the ones to approve it or reject it. What, uh, how, what, what is the argument to this, for or against? Maliwarang naman, Eric. Uh, Pag sa plebiscito na, uh, ang tanong lang, yes or, or no. no. Uh, so, kung yes yan, kung ano man na, 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 na isalub sa sali, panukalang saligang batas, uh, kahit na matindi ang galit mo, matindi ang pag-object mo, uh, you have to check yes or right yes uh -huh. so because of its uh, the totality no, no? you are uh, painted into a corner right right okay. wala ka nang wala ka nang option eh uh -huh. Uh -huh. but uh, if it is a product of a constitutional convention where the delegates As are elected uh -huh. specifically for the purpose of revising the constitution uh -huh. uh, i i trust the process and i will trust the result why can't the people assuming it's a constituent assembly why can't they reject a the product of a constituent assembly. In fact, some people are saying, if it's a constituent assembly, it is going to, it is a, a, a formula for rejection. <laughs> Yan mga sinasabi. In fact, in fact, Ay, ito, nadidinig ito, <laughs> kadante, ha? Ang gusto daw ng mga dilaw, maging constituent assembly, precisely so that it will be rejected. I don't know whether that is true, ha? I, I'm just bringing yeah. out what I'm hearing. I, 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 I don't... Uh, it is a formula for rejection. It. It's a formula for rejection. What you're saying is, kung constituent assembly forced to good ang taong bayan, they will approve yes, it. Yes, yes. Remember, okay. uh, the ruling uh, politicians in the area, the, each of them uh, has a vast army of leaders, and supporters, volunteers, supporters oh, oh. and they have the money. Yeah. Uh, they will do everything. To have it approved. Yes, especially it contains provision that will secure their... Uh, position, their fortunes, uh, uh, their fortunes, uh, their continuity, <laughs> and their future. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. Sugurado yun. Oh, okay. Mananalo yun. Okay. We're going to pause for a few reminders <laughs> and we're, we're going to still going to talk to Dr. Dante Liban regarding what other things that, uh, well, uh, he notices in the discussion when we return. <laughs>